Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today, we're going to be building a entertainment center to go underneath our projection screen in our movie room. Um, basically, it's just a simple box design. It's what I have left over. These pieces I cut down to 16, roughly 16 by 24, and they're an inch, about an inch thick. Um, back here, if you can see, I've got these two pieces I put together with dowels. Now those are, these are going to be my sides. These are going to be my side pieces. I have two of these, and I have five of the shells to go top, bottom, and middles to hold my uh, our DVD players, uh, a couple video game systems we like playing, like Nintendo Wii. Uh, me and her in the evening sometimes we ain't got nothing much going on it. Uh, but anyway, so this is what we're going to be doing today. If you guys want actual plans on the on what we're doing here, uh, just comment below. Um, I think I'm, gonna, I, I'm just going to join them together. We're doing pocket holes. Nothing fancy, but at the same time, they should look nice. These are really quite simple to do. Uh, so all you do is just basically you're, you set your width and everything of your depth to be able to hold this all together. I'm going to do the top of and the bottom of the longer boards I just showed you that are connected as the, as the side pieces. And just put the bottom and the top on the ends basically to give me that square. Yeah, you just kind of get it started. You don't want to push all the way into, your, into the woods yet, but you just kind of get it started. And that lock collar right there is what stops you. Maybe back it out a little bit. Just like so. So you got a little pocket hole there. And if you want, you can also, if you're wanting to really make it look um, nice and everything, you can get your little fillers that fit perfectly in these little grooves. Make it look like there's not even nothing in there. I didn't do no measuring where I'm going to put this. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's just it's going to hold the bottom and the top together. That's going to hold the square together. Same thing here. You get started. This kind of wood is perfect for shelving. A shelving. Um, I wouldn't say anything structural. Like, so I'll get these all, all the other ends done, and, and I'll see you in a minute. Now it's time to do a little bit of assembly. Um, I took and sanded down my middles of the, the two pieces I slapped together because I didn't have anything long enough. Um, I've had this wood laying around for a while, and finally it's come in handy to use it. I haven't decided on a paint color yet, but I've got these little, um, let me check and show you these. Got these off Amazon. They're actually pretty cool. They're spring loaded. So you use them for 90s to help hold your 90s together. I got four of them. I mean, they've come in handy so far. This orange piece here is what goes on the inside of the corner. And you just snap it back. Yeah, like it, it, it works with this quarter inch fine. There we go. So, let me get all these corners put in and we'll start assembling them all. There we go. So, anyway, let me get my, my screws together. My pocket screws. I'm going to use about an inch and a half. I love this pocket hole system. I really do. I mean, it's a little bit more time consuming, but it's really neat. It's a really neat way to kind of, you know, I look as professional as possible, which I am not. Again, I know I say that every video with everything I do, but it's because I don't want you guys saying, oh, he, he thinks he knows what he's doing. No, I mean, I, a professional woodworker would probably cringe seeing half the stuff I do. I mean, but I do it to get by, and I just do it. Love it.
And then I'm gonna repeat this other side. Okay, so now as you see, we have our um, square made for the outer shelf up for it. I have a delving in here, it will tie it all together, make it nice and strong. Also, I do wanna show you guys real quick, when you guys do your measurements, if you're building whatever shelf, whatever size, don't measure from the bow in the middle. Measure from the inside of the corner, from here down to the bottom corner. Measure from that, the inside of those. That will give you the nice snug fit you need, and you'll see that you will have to go back, and you'll have to push this down a little bit to get to, you know, everything to be square and line up. You guys do that, and then you guys get down to the other end, it's going to be way long. Your pieces are going to be way long if you measure from the middle and then try to put them in here. They're going to be way long. Each shelf should be the same size. I would need to go to install these. They'll go in nice and snug and you'll have a nice, a self nice little sh shelf. We have our shelving cut pieces cut. Um, one, two, three, four. I've got four shelves going on. Now we got to space our shelvings out accordingly to how we want our stuff to be. So I've got my DVD and then PS3, the, the Wii, the retro systems, and like the games and DVDs and stuff like that down here. And I've got each one of them marked, you know, like for example, the DVDs four inch spread apart. This four inch, I'm gonna start from down here. So you don't, you, know, you don't want to measure from the outside of the board. You want to measure from the inside to inside. That way you have your, your, your correct amount you need. On each component, like DVD player and systems and stuff like that, I gave myself two or three inches of play. That way if I ever get, have to get a new DVD player or anything, I can maybe fit a bigger one and say it's taller than what this one is. I can fit it in there. So you just easily go down, mark four inch, and then don't forget, you gotta have you gotta account for the thickness of your wood too. I don't even want to say seven eighths. This is just basically putting your shelves in place. You want to make sure they're nice and straight, obviously, so you know, your your DVD player you don't go to sit on there and just fall off or whatever you put on top and just don't fall off. And, you know you want it to be nice and straight and square. So so yeah, so that's what we're doing now. I measure each one of my shelves. And I gotta do pocket holes on each end. 16 pocket holes to make so as you can see i've got one shelf in you can see my pocket holes um i just keep on double checking my measurements yeah so basically i'm putting these the rest of these shelves all together and after that it's basically sanding painting if i want to fill these in there are these i'll show them to you real quick Look like this they're little plugs they're made they're made to go in here Like that so anyway I'm gonna finish this all up the assembly be a good keyboard warrior and um, get on there and tell me what you guys think so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'll get back to you so down here is what I'm wanting to use some wood glue don't be scared to use too much glue and just take your, your filler And it just pops down in there and as you can see there's like a mess of glue but that's okay because you can always just take a rag or something and wipe it off then you can sand that you can sand that down by the time you paint it and everything you're not no one else is going to know except for you pretty much unless you tell them but I'll, all right, anyway, I'm going to go through and get all that done and everything so I can start setting in the glue and don't have the paint. I, I'm just going to do it white, but I don't know, I kind of want a little bit more of a darker color to go with a, a movie room better. But anyway, I think it's coming along pretty good. If you see something I could have done better on this, which I'm sure there's plenty of things I could have done better on this, chime in. Everything plugged up and everything. But all I'm going to do now is I'm going to sand everything up. Uh, I, I've got some wood filler, I believe. I'm going to try to use the seam 
to make it seamless. I'm hoping I can make it seamless. I'm letting these plugs dry up. I'm going to sand them all down flush, sand all my joints down. It's just a standard box with just boards in the middle. I mean, that's all it is. I am going to probably put a backing on it. And if I do that, I'll, I'll show you guys that process as well. And I'll check back in as I get progress made. But as of right now, I just got to dry and everything. If you guys got something out of this or just enjoy the content, um, smash that like button, subscribe for me so you guys can check out more projects. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like the build, if you guys think it's shitty. Anyway, so I'm here to show you guys the, the, out, the outcome of our entertainment center. All right, so yeah. But anyway, so it's all black shelving, as you can see. Anyway, so what we got going on here, guys, and don't be hating, is a uh, Nintendo Wii with little charger controller station. Um, our retro Nintendo and retro Sega. Um, all of our games. Don't hate on the games. Let's see, we got the PlayStation 2 and a little charger station. On the side here, that uh, holds the Wii steering wheels, and down there, the, the Wii, I think they call them zappers, the guns, and I, I still have to find a place, PlayStation 3 gun, I'm going to hang it somewhere right here, but it's finally organized. This room here and the bathroom, it's pretty much the only rooms really that need to overhaul, because the game room, as you guys will be seeing soon, is about done with um leave comments down below please like uh, subscribe but until next time guys i'll see you peace